Hello everyone. Yeah, happy camper Steve here. Welcome to another episode of My Shoebox Adventures. Today, my shoebox and I are on the Mogollon Rim. That's right, Mogollon Rim, Arizona. We're above Payson, Arizona. This is the Apache Sitgraves National Forest, which borders the Coconino National Forest and also the Tonto National Forest to the south. I am pretty close to the rim. Uh, came up uh, yesterday, late on a Sunday, late on a Sunday, hoping that people would all go home. You've heard this <laughs> scenario from me before, so I could get a good camp spot, right? Well, let me show you my camp spot, and then I'll show you uh, what I was hoping to get. Uh, here's what I've got. It's a nice big campsite. You can put multiple units in here. This is 14-day free camping, 14-day free camping, but you can't just go off into the woods and pick any spot you want. These are numbered sites. You have to pick a spot. I think it's kind of amusing. I know I love this sign here. I'm thinking to myself, I'd be driving around and driving around till I ran out of gas or died wondering where to camp. But thank goodness for the Forest Service because they helped me out with this sign. Camp here. Oh, good. All right. I'm good. I, now I can camp. <laughs> There's the runaway. Got the awning out. Got it tied down. Not going to lose it this time. Uh, there are fire restrictions now in all the forests in Arizona. You cannot have a real fire. So that's my fire can, my my propane fake fire. It, it does the job. It's got a little warmth and it's got some ambiance. I tried to roast weenies on it last night. Eh, not very successful. Nothing like a real wood fire in a solo stove. So, changed it up a little bit. Don't have my Napier tent. You know, I've told you how much I love that Napier tent, and it's true, I do. But I haven't mentioned, and I should, just to be fair, it's a two-man job to put that tent up. If I've got somebody to help me, it's up and ready in 10 minutes. When I'm doing it myself, oh my lord, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, lots of bad words. Uh, yeah, so the Napier tent is a little bit of a hassle to put up for one guy. Just want to throw that out there. If you're going to buy one and you're alone and you don't want the hassle, think of something else. If it's really cold and the weather's terrible, I have to put that tent up. Yeah, I, I need to put my cooking stuff inside the tent. I need to attach it to my runaway so I can go back and forth. But here's what we got going. You know, we got the solar going here. I've got my refrigerators in the truck. And I'm charging the, uh, you know, the solar generators that are powering the fridges right now. So that way they won't die. I'll get them all full. Here's my... My Jackery is the one weak point. I'm not really impressed with Jackery. I know they've got a great reputation. Here's my 100 watt Jackery panel, which never produces more than about 61 watts on the Jackery. Oh, I lied, 62 watts on the Jackery. This has been plugged in for hours, and it hasn't even increased by 25%. So I'll be lucky to fill that thing back up again. Jackery, you know, I don't know, pal. Technology has passed you by. I bought a little kitchen thing. Hey, this, this is kind of cute. Uh, Camp Chef makes these, but this is the, I got this on Amazon for $119. Camp Chef wants $150, $149. They're exactly the same. This is called a portal. They come out of the same factory. In fact, the outer box that this was delivered in, the cardboard box said Camp Chef on it. So they come out of the same factory. This one it has a little tag on it that said portal. They're the same color. Everything's the same. Save yourself 30 bucks if you want one. I shouldn't have brought this up. This is going to take a minute. But it's got this stuff inside. This is my new, you know, I'm so disorganized. I've got stuff everywhere. Now I've got these four things that I can, these four bags, I can label them. They're different colors. One of the blue one is insulated. You could, you know, you could put cold things in there to hold it for a while. Anyway, I was thinking about getting a second one of these. These legs collapse. Those legs, you'll see them standing up there. Those telescope back in, so it's a nice small package. I could put it in there. In there, it fits. I already tried it. And then I could uh, put clothing and all kinds of items in those colored bags. Wouldn't that be fun? All right, that. stay tuned for another... <laughs> oh, never saw anything I didn't want to buy, right? This is why I can never retire. All right. Uh, we'll get out of here real quick. Got my chair. My son got me that chair, director's chair. I love it. More solar. Sanitation station hiding behind the unit. Now, let's take off. What if I, I'm already four minutes into this video and I want to keep it short. Here's the road I came in on. And uh, a lot of big rigs, again, I talked about how fun it is having a tiny rig. You'd have to go really slow. There's some ugly parts. Some of the road's fine. This part of the road here, it's rocky, but it's fine. But up the way, uh, it was, it was bad. <laughs> Felt like I was rock climbing. 
All right, so Mogi on Rim. I mentioned I'm on the Mogi on Rim. There's all kinds of camping back here. There's all kinds of forest roads, thousands and thousands of acres of uh, forest land that you can camp on for free. I wanted to be on the rim side. Now the side I'm on that I showed you is the the north side of the road. That's not the rim side. The rim side is the one I'm showing you now. And this real estate you can never get. I, I, I was hoping to get one of these because I wanted to sit on the edge of the rim and look out. Uh, and it wasn't meant to be because uh, people have got them. <laughs> Good for them. And they've got a view. And so I'm going to show you I'm going to show you the view they've got because it's really worth it if you come up this way and you happen to get one of these spots. If you've got plenty of time, camp where I'm camping and wait. They've only got 14 days. They have to leave. <laughs> Just hope they leave before you have to leave. But see, look what I'm talking about. I mean, it gets better. But you look off and the view is just fantastic here. We are on the edge of the Mogollon Rim. And some of the spots are, are truly spectacular. I'd have to really get in my vehicle and drive down that road. Oh, look. See, here's a spot that's on the rim, but, <laughs> but it's a really small spot. Really, this is for a tent. Let's, let's, let's look at it. There's no one here. You can tell it's a spot. You get the fire pit. It's got a number up there. We'll find out what spot this is. But it's very rocky, as you can see. Look at that. I mean, even for a tent, this is a... Maybe no tent. Maybe you've got to have a little trailer like mine and just stay in the trailer and not do much. You know, those guys, those guys have a great spot up there. Plenty of room. But let's see. Let's come over here. Because <laughs> I don't want to... I don't want to take too long. You guys probably have a life you want to get back to. But look at this. <laughs> they say in the literature that these, these campsites on the rim are not recommended for families with young children. Uh, I think they're a little bit worried that, you know, Junior's going to go toppling right off the edge of this thing. And in some places it's a 200-foot drop. And this might be one of those places. But the view is spectacular you know it really is hope i don't fall off the cliff if somebody finds this camera down there yeah well you'll know what happened of course i'm wearing shorts and there's all kinds of sharp things here ah i'm a genius there's your view let's let's take a look soak it up right here's the rim and it's this 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 cliff spectacular picturesque and it goes for 50 miles 50 miles if any of the facts I'm giving you are, are untrue, it's, you know, don't hold it against me. I didn't, I didn't study it before, uh, before doing this particular presentation. This was a spur-of-the-moment trip. I was home. It was going to be 107 degrees down in the valley. And I thought, let's go to the high country. I have three days off. Why waste them locked in the house watching television or something boring? Let's go. Let's grab the runaway the shoebox and get out of Dodge. So that's what I did. Let me give you one more glimpse over here. There's, at some spots back down the road there was a path. It was actually a, it looked like a concrete pad like the state put it in. A walking path, a bike path that ran along the rim for, for miles and miles and miles. I saw people hiking and I don't know what the story is on that but it's there adjacent to a lake woods canyon lake very popular spot that's just down the road about five miles i'm gonna check woods canyon lake on my way out tomorrow and see what that's all about I haven't been there yet either now i've got vertigo so i'm not going to go any closer but as you can see i mean yeah what a view and we got a bit of a breeze here makes sense we'd have a wind you know being on the edge of the cliff Ugh. <laughs> let me come down here a little further a little further because I want to show you I want to show you this see there's a camp spot right there right on the edge bogey on rim everybody <laughs> bogey on rim northern eastern Arizona oh there's a there's the freeway way off in the distance I don't know if you can pick it up on that tiny picture let's look some people do this it's out there <laughs> it's out there okay well, listen, I'm going to meander. I don't want to bore you any longer. We're coming up on, on a 10-minute video, and I know you guys, most of you people, like a short video. Ugh. 
This one I gotta go back up now. Oh, thank goodness I'm not old. Okay. <laughs> it's it's just about straight up noon. So it's a little bit early. It's not quite Obeer 30 for me yet. So I'm gonna get some exercise. I'm gonna walk and see some more things. I'll, I'll fire up the camera again if it's something that's really cool. And uh, so until next time, uh, from the Mogollon Rim in Northern Arizona, that happy camper Steve, my shoebox adventures. Yeah, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell, give me a thumbs up. I'll see you all later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye now.